designer, our products have been well received by global users since its release. Thank you very much for your support. Today, I'd like to share with you how to run the Pint Miner. Now, let's start to check our first model. Double packed with fine polyphone to guarantee its safety during transportation. Open it. We can see a well packed miner and a power supply. Seven pin ports on the left side. We can see two HDMI ports, two USB ports, one network port, one indicator, one switch on the right side. This is how it looks inside this miner. You can see eight pieces of GPU cards installed onto separate layer. This is designed for better ventilation and maintenance. And we have nine files in all. Now let's start running the miner. Connect the 1600 volt PSU to your miner first, and then connect to monitor. Secondly, connect your mouse and keyboard. And last, the internet cable. When all is ready, turn on the power and the miner will start working. Check the monitor and you can see the pre-installed mining software for S3, Zcash and Mojo. Let's try S3 first. Right click to edit the ETHDMB AT file. Enter your S3 wallet address as required. And save the file before close it. Then double click ETHDMB AT and start mining S3. It's really simple, even for green hands. Now the miner is running perfectly with a power consumption about 1300 volts. It's about 80 decibels, not very loud. From the left fan, you can see the temperature is turning to degree Celsius. And from the right side, it's 28 degrees Celsius. Now the miner has run at average hash rate of 230 mikash. The mining income varies due to the mining difficulty and the price. The miner excels in every way than self-made GPU miners. In conclusion, it's very profitable in HOI and so easy to deploy on your own. If you have any questions about the miner, feel free to contact us via email.